you're changing your mind. You're we're top two, top three. Yes, but I don't want to get complacent. Okay. Because we're still trying to improve and find uh, okay. a level of consistency. I just wanted to confirm that so I could lock it in for the Reddit headline. <laughs> Well, it's the fifth week of NALCS. I'm joined right now by Contracts from Golden Guardians to talk a little bit about how things are going with him. It's uh, all sponsored by OmniSlash, by the way, this video. So you guys are now tied for second, which I'm going to be honest with you, I did not expect to lead off an interview like that uh, at all, any point in time this year. But but you guys have done it, and I'll just—it's not like you fluked it in, you know, your way in after the first week or the second week. Like five five weeks in, halfway through the split, you guys are second place. So what what's the atmosphere like on the team? Honestly, right now it's really good. I feel like on any team, if you're winning this much, I think the atmosphere is definitely going to be uh, really high. We all just yeah, it just feels really good to win after uh, last split, and we're proving a lot of people wrong and. We're just showing that as five, we can actually compete against the best in this league. Yeah. What's crazy to me is that I heard at the start of the split, there's a lot of like tension behind the scenes and drama on Golden Guardians. I don't know if you want to talk about that at all, but it's it's either way, it's funny to me that I heard about that and now it feels like you guys are playing better than ever. Just like team environment? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, I'm not gonna go into too many details, but yeah, it was definitely rough. The, like Not the first couple weeks of scrims, but like, maybe three or four weeks after we started practicing as a team, we had a lot of internal issues and a lot of our mentalities and attitudes towards practice weren't, um, you know, just suited for a team environment. Like, it was just always negative and constantly, it's just bringing us down. But after we, I think we lost three games in a row and then we had like a big team meeting during the, the two weeks we had off during Rift Rivals and we really came together as a team. We we all want to put 100% into our work now and our practice, and I think it's starting to show on stage. Yeah. You guys are on a three-game win streak. Uh, you play Echo Fox tomorrow. What do you think your chances are there? I think Echo Fox has been looking pretty lack lackluster lately, but I still think they're a really strong team. They have the tools to definitely snowball games, and they're really aggressive with Huni or Dardoch. So I think it'll definitely still be a hard game, but uh, I believe in my team and I to pull off the win. So I, before you guys played that game against CLG, I heard uh, that one of the team owners had said that based off of, I guess, the scrims or whatever, they thought that Golden Guardians might be a top three team in, in NALCS right now. And then just a short time ago, I was talking to somebody else who implied you guys might be the best team in this moment, right? Uh -huh. First off, do you agree with either of those? I don't know. I feel like scrims are always like 50-50. We can either have a really bad day and we just get shit on, or we have a really good day and we're like playing really well and we're just stomping on teams, but I think once we find that level of consistently consistency, I think we can definitely be the best team in NA, but I don't think we're like scrim guys or anything. We're not the best team in NA right now. I think I think we're definitely like top four, top five, but um, I'm just hoping to keep uh, improving and find a level of consistency with our play in the next couple weeks. How, who else is up there with you though? Because, okay, CLG had a pretty good streak there just now, but you guys just beat them. Mm -hmm. And then you got like Team Liquid. I, my Team Liquid stock is falling hard right now. I don't, I, I mean, they, they looked really good. We sent them to MSI. They didn't look good there, but uh, I just, I don't know what's going on there. 100 Thieves seems like they're sorting their stuff out. Technically the first place team. So I, I don't know. What do you think? I think 100 Thieves was up there before they got rid of Medios. I think Medios was really like the, like the pillar of their team. He led a lot of how they play the game and, um, just the early game leads. Um, I'm not really sure who's up there, actually. I, I think I think actually FlyQuest is not bad this season. I think they're pretty decent, and I think they're top four, top five. Uh, other than that, I'm not sure. Team Liquid has been looking pretty bad. Uh, so right now, all you can tell me is you and FlyQuest. <laughs> Do you know how crazy that sounds to me? Yeah, I mean, maybe C9's better with Blabber in now. Yeah. Maybe they can start um, improving, but... Not really too sure. I guess we're like top two, top three, yeah. you know? Okay. Top, so you think you're top two, top three? Yeah, yeah, okay. I changed my mind. As in you're back to, you're changing your mind, you're, we're top two, top three? Yes, but I don't want to get complacent. Okay. Because we're still trying to improve and find uh, okay. a level of consistency. I just wanted to confirm that so I could lock it in for the Reddit headline. <laughs> all right. That's all I was asking for. I just need to make oh, sure. Yeah, I, got it, I, got it. I need your hard stick to it. Because if you have any hesitation, then I get yelled at in the comments. But mm. uh, sounds like you're confident. So there. 
you go. Um, I was talking to Deathly last week, who told me that you get super powered when you drink boba, like before the games. He says anytime you have boba before the games, it's like you Hulk out. Is this true? Well, I can confirm that I drink boba maybe five out of seven days of the week. Okay. But I actually have not drank boba on the days we've gone to LCS. Oh, so those okay. two days are Saturday and Sunday. So I think I just like ramp up my power during the week. Mm. So I get boba every day. And then once it comes Saturday and Sunday, the power just like yeah. comes out. And then that's why we're doing so well with Split. By the way, I have noticed an a interesting pattern here. So you guys have won the last three games, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I know Hunter pretty well. Hunter was not here last week. For the first time ever, he had uh, something he had to go to, so he's not here last week. And then today, he's, he's at a wedding. Oh. So I'm curious if Hunter being gone, does that, do you feel like that dramatically improves your team? You know, it might be possible. Yeah. Uh, I think the days he hasn't been here, we've been popping off and winning pretty convincingly. So maybe Hunter's the problem. Maybe he should just stay at home. Yes. And do you know he's coming? I know he's coming here tomorrow. Oh, no. So I, are you concerned about tomorrow? Is that adding stress to you? Oh, I actually just don't want to step on stage tomorrow. I think yeah. it will just be an embarrassment for an org. I think yeah. we might just lose. Okay. Well, uh, what's going to be amazing is if I release this and you guys do lose miserably tomorrow, it's not going to look good for Hunter. I think Hunter might just have to step down at that point. I'm not oh, sure. Yikes. Okay. Holy moly. <laughs> Contracts calls for Hunter stepping down. Uh, it's just a joke. These, Hunter, these, Hunter is really good. These interviews are getting very aggressive towards Hunter. Last week, definitely looked at the camera and said, fuck you, Hunter. Ooh. That's true. He said it because he, he wants you guys to have like a behind the scenes like series, like the 100 Thieves show and Team Liquid and all that. Uh, I wouldn't mind that, but... Follow me around 24-7 is kind of not my thing either, but... How would you feel if they filmed, like, if you got benched and they filmed it? It's a meme. It's a meme, you know. I also just... watched that episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> but he's back. Sneaky's back. Sneaky? Oh, wait. Oh, we're talking about Sneaky. I thought we were talking about Medios. Yeah. Because Medios had the... They also... Yes. No, I was talking about the Cloud9 episode where they... Oh. Yeah. yeah, that was a little questionable too, but... Yeah. yeah. They never did that with, like, Ray or anything when they were, like... But Medios yeah. is here, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He's back. He's on the analyst desk. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw his uh, analysis for the uh, Acadian versus Greg yeah. Pathian. I was watching that. Yeah, Medios is smart. I think he's a really good player. Did you learn something from that? No, but... Okay. But... <laughs> I think Medios is a top three jungler in LCS, so it's unfortunate he's not on the team yeah. right now. Well, he's a top three jungler outside of LCS. It's more like it. Not in LCS because he's he says play in the LCS. He'll get back in here soon. I believe in Will. Okay. So does that mean you think Santorin's gonna? Uh, 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 uh? No, I think. I mean, putting in Medios for Santorin wouldn't be bad, but I think Santorin's showing a level of play that's like fine for his team, and he's been working with them for yeah. like the whole split. So I think changing them out right now is probably not a good. Okay, idea. so you said Medios will be back though. If you're not changing out Santorin, what's gonna happen? We we'll always just go to another team next split. Probably isn't going to play the split, but for the rest of this year, we won't see me because you're like, I believe in him. He's going to be back. You're you're condemning him for like seven months. You know, you say that, right? Oh, I mean, a top I, three jungler in the LCS, and he's out of the game for seven months. It's just an unfortunate situation. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. He can sell a lot of Snickers though in that time. Uh, what what else is going on? Anything we should know about Golden Guardians behind the scenes, since you guys don't have a, a thing? I hear, did you know Rachel is making you guys cookies and baked goods? And she she does, she does has committed on multiple occasions to making stuff for me, and I have yet to have a single cookie. You should definitely try her cookies. Her cookies are bomb. Well, I would like to, but she has not. I guess she should uh, start making them right now, then. Yeah, exactly. Rachel is a social media person. Worked, worked I, you know, I hired her at Yahoo. You know, and uh, this is the thanks I get. You know, she goes to gets off a job. She goes and joins one of the top teams in LCS, top two team. Can't even bother getting me a cookie. Yeah, her cookies are definitely good. You should definitely try one yeah. sometime. Well, again, I'd, I'd like to, <laughs> one. Uh, funny story, uh, speaking of people I've hired, Andrew, who uh, helps me out on the weekends now, Broden works on other shit, uh, 
for me, just to be clear. He's not gone. I'm never going to release him. But Andrew's here. He, he, when I hired him last split, he said that he was a Golden Guardians fan because he likes underdogs. Oh. My concern is that you guys are now second, so he might be abandoning you. Is it true? Yeah. Well, are we, I still like we're kind of we're still kind of underdogs right now. I feel right like he's a huge Cloud Nine fan. <laughs> oh, I guess they're yeah they're underdogs right now. Can you be un an underdog when you're second place? I don't know. I feel like we're just like quietly creeping up. So I think we're still underdogs. We don't have like many fans, so yeah. I think people are still don't expect us to win. Yeah. If somebody's watching this interview. And they are like, well, maybe I should be a Golden Guardians fan. What would you say to them? Like, why should somebody be a Golden Guardians fan? Their jungler watches a lot of anime. Okay. And I think that's the sole reason why you should support the Golden Guardians. I think there's a lot of people on LCS that watch a lot of anime. Do you think you watch more anime than anybody else? I feel like I was like an OG one. Okay. I was definitely the OG. Everyone just came following after me. Like, no one was watching. You're a relatively new player in the LCS, and you're saying that you, like... No one was watching anime before you got here? I mean, no one openly came out with it, oh. you know? You came well, out as a weeb. Closet weebs. Yeah, so but okay. I'm the open weeb. Okay. That's very good. That's good. Uh, all right, whatever. Anything you would actually say to anybody out there? Uh, thank you for the support. We've been doing uh, a lot better this split, and hopefully we can find a level of consistency to keep on improving and do you guys proud. Thank you so much, Contracts. Congratulations on the win today. Looking forward to seeing you guys lose when Hunter returns tomorrow. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. I knew I could never escape this. I, I freaking landed my dream job at Riot interviewing pros and stuff, and I still have to do outros for Travis. I just can't get out of it. Literally, you can't see it, but on my back, there's like a contract that was carved into me, like full-on... Freaking FMA, Riza. No, that was burned into her. But you, you get the idea. So uh, thanks, Omni Slash, for this. Subscribe. subscribe.